Look what arrived. Charge controller just came. So I've got most of the wiring set up already. Uh, I'm gonna try and get this hooked up and see if we get everything working. So the inverter came with this cable. It's a really long cable to connect from here to here. But I think that looks sloppy. So I just made my own out of uh, some four gauge. I'm just gonna put the shrink wrap on each side. Uh, I think that'll look better. The longer the cable, the more power loss you're gonna have. So the shorter you can make the cables, the better on the positive side. Okay, I haven't hooked up the alternator charging yet. Um, and uh, still, the last thing I'll do after the battery and everything's connected and working, I'll hook up the uh, solar cables, but when I flip these switches, it should work. Bingo, nice. Okay, so there's a yellow light here. That's the um, type of battery you're using. Since I have uh, lithium ion, I need to change this to, should be a blue light. And there's a little uh, pinhole over here on the side, which will change it. Okay, so it was this light here. Uh, this should be blue. Um, that means it's a lithium battery. This one is yellow, meaning the voltage is normal. Uh, when the battery's full, it'll, it will be green, uh, but that won't occur until I connect the solar positive and negative. Um, and it starts charging, which I'm going to do now. Just got the bed frame in. Um, they're putting plywood on top of this, but, um, you can kind of check out how I built it. I did, uh, two by fours on the side, which, uh, sit on top of this beam is, uh, bolted into the metal beam that's behind this wall. And then this one's just sitting on top of it and then screwed into the, uh, studs that are in the wall, the wooden studs. And then, um, I've got the, uh, metal brackets on every side and down at the bottom there and that's pretty much it for today it's nice to have the solar working now I had the fans on all day it wasn't too hot in here like and subscribe please bye